The SC Maglev is the world's fastest train that can cover a distance of more than 350 miles per hour, and it is owned by the Central Japan Railway Company. Everywhere we look, we see inventions pushing beyond the frontiers of modern technology, and this push is keenly felt in the transport industry. Hello and welcome to yet another exciting video. In this episode, we will be telling you about the fastest passenger train in the world called the SC Maglev. If you thought you knew a thing or two about trains, you are in for a surprise when you are done watching this video. So sit back, relax and don't change the dial as you will learn so much in the next few minutes. Imagine travelling on land at an astonishing speed, similar to the speed at which planes fly. However, the difference is that, unlike planes, you have the entire world moving past you as if by the speed of light. That is how the experience is like travelling on a maglev train. The maglev train is a modern train that travels so fast that the wheels do not even touch the ground once it hits top speed. It's a dreamlike experience like you are floating in space. At least, that is the way passengers who have travelled on the train describe it. As a country, Japan is already famous for its advanced Shinkansen train system, rated as one of the best in the world. It came into operation in 1964 and it had maintained this position as one of the best ever since. For a nation with fast trains already, one will wonder why planners see the need for a faster bullet train. For the Japanese government, however, speed is a priority, hence the need for trains faster than the ones they already have. And so, in 2015, the new maglev bullet train was born after it was tested successfully. So how does the SC maglev work? To better understand how the SC maglev is able to hit top speed, you need to understand how it works. The maglev bullet train was developed by the Central Japan Railway Company in conjunction with the Institute of Railway Technical Research. The research into superconducting magnetic trains began in the 70s. The central principle of maglev technology is basically magnetic repulsion between the train car and the tracks. Maglev as a word is a combination of levitation and magnetic, so the meaning of both words means floating train or magnetic levitation. And to achieve top speed, this technology uses electrodynamic suspension systems, or EDS for short. As for the rail lines, there are two sets of metal coils that are cross-connected into a figure 8 electromagnet pattern. Then, on the trains, there are superconducting electromagnets, also called bogies. When not in motion, the train rests on special rubber wheels. For motion to be achieved, it has to move forward very slowly on the wheels so that the magnets underneath the train can interact with the rail tracks. Gradually, momentum is achieved, and once it reaches a speed of 150 km per hour, a strong magnetic force lifts the entire train off the ground by 4 inches, further eliminating friction to allow the train to run at an incredible speed. This is why the SC Maglev is called a floating train, because at top speed it no longer interacts with the tracks. The same force that lifts the train is also responsible for moving it forward and keeping it at the centre of the track for safety. And if you're wondering, what is the top speed of the maglev? Let me tell you that the SC maglev bullet train is not called the world's fastest train for no reason. During tests in April 2015, the SC maglev hit a top speed that broke two previous world records. It clocked 375 miles per hour, or 603 kilometers an hour. This made it faster than the maglev trains already in operation in Shanghai and South Korea that run at speeds of 268 and 311 miles per hour, respectively. The SC maglev also broke the record of fast Shinkansen trains. The fastest Shinkansen train run at top speeds of 275 miles per hour. What's more, analysts believe that one day we may see trains clock the same speed reached by airplanes due to the outbreak of new technological innovations that achieve greater velocity. While such a possibility may frighten others, it doesn't for the Japanese. Why? Simply because the country has one of the safest metro lines in the world. In over 60 years of operations, Japan's Shinkansen trains have recorded zero fatal accidents. So for this reason, the citizens trust their metro line. In fact, the metro line is a thing of pride for the people and it has become a national symbol. The construction of the maglev system was commissioned in 2009 with a plan to connect Tokyo to Nagoya by 2027. 
The plan is to allow passengers to connect both cities in 40 minutes, which will be much faster than flying or using the current Tokaido Metro line that takes 90 minutes to complete. The stations that will be constructed en route will be Lida, Kofu, Shinagawa, Sagamihara and Nakatsugawa. Subsequently, the long-term goal of administrators is to extend the line from Nagoya to Osaka by 2045. Plans show that more than 80% of the rail tracks will be underground and will pass through mountainous ranges and sprawling urban centers. At the end of the construction from Nagoya to Tokyo, the project cost will hit about $55 billion. Based on the recorded speed of the SC Maglev, it comfortably holds the record for being the fastest train in the world by a long mile. But how do other bullet trains compare to it? Let's take a look. In second spot is France's TGV high-speed train. The TGV broke the record for the fastest train in the world in 2007 when it hit a top speed of 357 miles per hour. It held the record for close to a decade before it was beaten by Japan's L0 series trains in 2015. TGV is operated by the French railway company SNCF and it runs between Paris and eastern France to southern Germany. In regular service, TGV travels at a top speed of 200 miles per hour. The Hexi is owned by the Chinese. In English, Hexi means harmony. The Hexi can reach top speeds of 236 miles per hour for commercial trips, but for tests, it can reach up to 302 miles per hour. This high-speed electric train is only one of four other Chinese trains that run on the newly developed high-speed main lines. The others are the CRH-380B, CRH-380C and the CRH-380D. The Shanghai Maglev or Trans Rapid Line is a magnetic levitation train that commutes in and out of Shanghai. This Maglev bullet train is one of the fastest in the world. Funny enough, it is the oldest Maglev train in operation and can hit a top speed of 268 miles per hour. It connects Shanghai Pudong Airport. The fifth spot is taken by South Korea's Himu train that reached a maximum speed of 282 miles per hour even though it was designed to hit a speed of 267 miles per hour. This train remains one of the fastest trains in Far East Asia. Number six is the Fuxing Hao, also of China. The Chinese are known for their rail technology and the Fuxing Hao or CR series as it is called operates at a top speed of 220 miles per hour but it can reach up to 260 miles per hour. This train transports passengers from Beijing to Shanghai and back. Coming up at number 7 is Italy's Fracariosa 1000, also called the ETR 400. This European train is the favourite train of Italians. It travels through Milan, Rome, Florence and Venice. Although its speed has been limited to 190 miles per hour, the ETR 1000 can reach a top speed of 245 miles per hour if allowed to. This makes it the second fastest train in Europe. As you can see from the list, Japan's SC Maglev is not only the fastest Maglev train in the world, but the fastest train of all. While we do not expect passengers to travel at the 375 miles per hour top speed that the train is capable of, we still expect a speed of at least 270 miles per hour for commercial trips. This speed will still make it the fastest train in the world. The Shinkansen Metro line was a thing of pride for Japanese citizens. By 2027, they will have the SC Maglev, which they will have been even more proud of. So what do you think of this magnificent opportunity to safely experience the ultimatum of speed? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more of these videos. See you soon. Take care.